certainly fully committed himself to that pot. Sure to have left one if he'd missed it. Eight. But he is well known through throughout the snooker circuit in the early qualifying rounds as being quite a daredevil potter. Goes for the shots. Nine. And when they go in, he's pretty effective, as he's been tonight. The only real red he could play on was the one just to the left of the black. Just overrun it slightly. Tough shot this. Fifteen. In the end he got down and played it. Made it look very easy, but that was a tough shot. He can certainly pot. Scoreboard 24 points behind. I'm just looking if this, well, what he will will be the last red will pot. Shows he's thinking straight. Nineteen. Jimmy Mickey. Well, that could have cost him this frame. Exactly as Peter Ebden planned. 25 points in front. Needs a colour and the last red. Pink ball. In goes the pink, but the problem with the last red, this is quite Seven. an acute angle. Just looking at the scoreboard. Needs the the red to leave his opponent needing snookers. Yes, the red looks to be further out and more easily potable than it really is. I don't think Pete will play for it in the middle. Peter Ebden, seven. So 31 <coughs> points the difference. Jimmy Mickey still in with a, a faint chance. All the colours on the spots. And if he can play a good safety shot on Peter here and get a chance on that last red, you would think whoever potted the last red would perhaps win the frame. Knowing the way 
this young man thinks he might decide there isn't a safety shot on and just try and pot it down the cushion. But it'll be some shot. Yes, Ray, if he attempts that, then he's not giving himself really a chance. He's got to think of what is the best safety shot. He's 31 points behind, but all the colours are on the spots. And I agree with you, whoever pots his last red should win it. Well, in the end, you were right. He didn't see a safety shot. He went for the pot. And now he's missed it. It's just trusting to luck. Jimmy at the interval and he said uh, his waistcoats were nearly as good as the ones I wore on big break. I think we're a bit better actually. What? But that's the end of this frame. Good pot from Peter Ebden. Colour to follow. the lead and uh, right I don't know what you think but after Peter won the first frame I think he just got a little bit lax a days ago in his play yeah if you know it, we, we were talking on the commentary John that I think he was looking for 13. a 147 and to be fair once he'd won the frame you could see that but I think maybe that just hyped him up a little bit and he forgot that he was playing 18 momentarily a very good opponent and uh, he's too experienced to let that go on 24 but he's certainly getting a tougher battle than many people thought he would the bookmakers fancied Peter long odds on to win this and he's still favorite but he's only one frame in front at 3-2 Mind you, this for a place in the quarterfinals, first of five. Well, in the next, Mickey scored eight points, broke down, and Ebden came to the table uh, with a very long stretch and a very awkward red there, which he just mustn't foul with his waistcoat. Not an easy shot. 